Okay guys, so we're at Star Recycling and I've walked around the scrap yard. I'll take you guys out there in a little bit, but here's a couple things I've picked up already. Here's a leg vise, blacksmithing vise, 15 bucks. There's a pile of scrap metal, there's a pair of tongs right there. There's a pile of good high carbon steel scrap metal right here. Got some blades there. I got some just strap metal, big heavy duty things. Some strap iron connecting rod there. A few pieces of rebar. Two nice brake drums right here for a little brake drum camp forges. Let's go back to the scrap pile and look for some more stuff. There's another stand vise right here. <laughs> another 15, 20 bucks well spent right there. This is a scrap pile of sh what they call short iron. And you can see there's just tons of rebar in here. Old tractor implements, connecting rods, all kinds of straps of metal. There's some tubing in here too, but there's chain. I mean, there's just all kinds of, there's a shovel head right there. All kinds of stuff in here to be picked at scrap prices. For blacksmithing, this is a smorgasbord of shopping spree right here. There's an old, up on top there's an old sewing machine right there. Just all kinds of stuff out here. An old cast iron lid for a pot right there. That'd be perfect over a brake, dump, brake drum type forge to snuff it out when you were done and protect it from the weather. Pile's getting bigger. I found an old copper bucket here. A tin, tin cook pot right here. Needs a handle replaced. Old number eight bucket right there. Metal. Okay guys, we're back at the Pathfinder School now. I want to kind of go through the picking from today with you guys and show you what we got. Alright, first thing is, we got not one, but we got two anvils. One of them's about 50 pounds, 40 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. The other one's a 100 pound anvil. Very similar to the one I've been using every day. Right there, okay? Both of those anvils, 150 bucks for the pair. 150 for the pair on those two anvils. Okay, we got two leg vices or post vices. There's one there. There's one I've already got sitting up on this table. I'm going to mount it to right there. Twenty-five bucks a piece, guys. Twenty-five dollars a piece. Okay. Miscellaneous. We got a bunch of steel stock to play with over here. Some kind of a handle. I'm sure, that's a heavy carbon steel. We got a lawnmower blade here to work with. I got some flat stock. A couple connecting rods. Some rebar. I got this heavy duty pan right here. I'm just gonna put on the side over here to use as a quenching pot. I got this cast iron lid that I figured I would use. I got a couple of brake drums here for student forges. And this one fits pretty good right on top of this one for snuffing out your pot. When you're done, it'll snuff the coal pot out and keep it protected from weather. So I picked that up. This cut off, old cutoff hardy came in one of the anvils. There's two pairs of square jaw pliers here that I can use for bending and putting in twists. This old rat tail file, I figured I'd just use that to make something with. This old hand forged hook I found out there. Somebody made that. It's been forged welded right there in the joint. An old pair of tongs I can refurbish to make for something else. Okay, the two other things that I picked up out there was this old 1800 style lunch pail. It's missing the bailing handle right here, but I'm, or the handle for the lid, but I can fix that, no problem. It's in real, real good shape. And then I picked up this copper wash tub. Still got the wooden handles on it. They're both in really, really good shape. It's made out of solid copper. It's marked Canco on the front, but it looks like it's all in one piece, and it is solid copper. It's not in bad shape at all. Okay, so let's talk about the picking for today and the price of this picking, all right? Remember, we paid 150 bucks for both anvils, 20 bucks a piece for the leg vices. We got two of those. Everything else that you see was 50 bucks. 50 bucks. So we got all of this stuff on this table for right at less than 250 bucks. Pretty good day 
of picking. We also got this number eight bucket right here. It's got a number eight right on the bottom of it there. It's kind of beat up, but it still holds water. I did check that to make sure. Be a good quench bucket for sure. So we're getting the blacksmith shop set up. This is a nice portable anvil right here. And then of course we got the bigger one that's very similar to the one we've been using, almost exactly the same size. Looks like it's in a little bit better shape actually than the one that the other one that I have. Okay guys, well I'm Dave Canberra at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you guys joining me out here for this day of picking in the scrapyard. I wanted to take you guys on a little trip to scrounge material actually to forge with and show you, you know, that it's fairly cheap to get that material. I'm sure that pile of scrap metal right there wouldn't have cost very much just to use for playing with around the forge, but then I ended up with all this other stuff as well. It just goes to show you that, you know, a guy who's careful and digs around can find a lot of stuff even at a scrap yard. I mean, I came up with two leg vices, two anvils, and all kinds of tools and things to use around the forging area. 200 bucks. Money well spent. Money well spent. Look at the price of anvils on eBay, the price of these leg vices on eBay. And just between those two anvils and those two leg vices, you're looking at a grand. So I appreciate you guys joining me for this video. I'm Dave Cameron at the Pathfinder School. I thank you for everything you do for me, for my school, for my family. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can.